Hello everyone, my name is Garrett Zima from Halloween Manti, and today I wanted to show you my mini super crane machines. I purchased these from candymachines.com and uh, they got here in about two weeks after I ordered them. You'll notice the left one's a little bit different in lighting. Um, basically, one of my locations is a arcade and a lot of it's very dim lights and they have projectors with movies playing so the owner requested that I dim the lights and how I did that was I used a window filter. Um, they make different colors and stuff like that and so this is what I was able to come up with. I wanted the marquee to be still lit. You can actually unplug it quite easily um, but um, I just wanted to put a filter there. You can tell the brightness is you know it's pretty bright. Um, so it goes great in a room that's well lit, um, but for a room that's supposed to stay dark like a bar, you might want to modify yours with these filters. I even put filters up in there, and it's kind of like a really, it's stained glass uh, window filter, which actually uh, turned out really nice. I uh, kind of like that look. Um, I wanted to do this video before I did it to the other one because the guy wants two of them. And I currently only have two. I have some other mini crane machines, which, which I'll be doing a video on. But these are the ones I got from uh, candymachines.com. This is the red model. I kind of wish I would have bought the blue, but I can always order it some other time. I plan on ordering a couple more machines anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, so I hooked up uh, my own build validators. I had these build validators from another machine, and so I didn't need the need to order a new one you could see here that there's two hookups there's a hookup for a 12 volt dc bill validator and then i believe this is the 110 volt um, but basically it'll work with almost almost any bill validator this is a pyramid this is a pretty high quality bill validator that i pulled from another machine and then this one over here is an ICT, um, I believe it's 110 volt, could be wrong. Um, 110 volt, that's right. So it's an AC, so they have basically AC and DC, okay? So if you're getting those um, other uh, bill validators from ICT that are the L70 or something like that, it's gonna hook up to this rather than this. Um, and I recommend highly to get a stacker um, rather than the bills being shot out. Um, it's just, you're less likely to have a jam. Um, so I really like these stackers. And uh, these were from existing machines that I had, so it worked out. But otherwise, usually these are about 200 bucks. Um, and uh, you got the coin door right here. I ended up um, closing off the, the hole. Um, I figured, you know, I'm gonna be going to the arcade enough where, you know, it's not gonna overflow, I don't think. But I can modify it if I want to. There's actually a coin box down here um, that can hold extra coins, which is nice. I'm probably just gonna put prizes down there to st for storage. Um, cool thing that that uh, Candy Machines does is they put on these bill valid, or sorry, these uh, coin mechs that um, are flashy. I've noticed on Alibaba, they do sell these at a cheaper price but then you gotta wait forever and whatnot and uh, wait for it to come on the boat or whatever. Um, and they put in one of these themselves. And this is probably like, honestly, a 20 or $30 upgrade, but um, it's kind of cool that they added. I like the flashiness. Uh, and uh, I turned the, uh, unplugged the lights here for the display. I'm debating about getting black lights and putting them up here just so they can, they, the uh, display can still be used. Cause it does look nice. Um, the little sharks got shooken around in there, but uh, once you place it and you do undo the three screws, you can set them up any way you want for a display, and it, it looks really cool. The thing that a lot of people like is that there's such a deep um, area for all uh, your prizes. Uh, a lot of the mini machines, you know, they come flush up to here, and uh, you can only put so many. Where these machines, you could kind of leave them for a while without having to do a refill. You know, even the fact that there's the coin box below that holds, you know, you know you're never gonna fill up that coin box unless you leave it for a year or something. But uh, 
you know, it, it, you can kind of just leave them. I usually check on my machines every other week because things can happen. You get a coin jam, you know, even with these stackers, you can get a bill jam or something like that. Or some kid throws some paper in there and it gets stuck. Um, so you definitely want to keep checking your machines. Uh, but you could leave these for quite a while. And uh, the fact that they're, you know, if you when you buy them, you get them brand new or whatever, you know. It's going to hold up for a long time. I usually buy used machines, so I'm constantly checking on them and making sure they're running properly. I'm going to do a little gameplay here. I have it set for uh, 50 cents a piece. And uh, I like the way it moves. I mean, it's super smooth. The cool thing is um, it's kind of like a smart crane where it'll dart out in the middle. Just to show you with the one that's lit. You got the ICT in there. So you can tell the quality between the pyramid and the ICT. Um, just the way it you know takes in the bill. Uh, yeah, and this thing, you know, it's got a long line, it goes all the way to the bottom. Not that you'd want to leave, you know, your prizes that low, but it can. And then also this plastic can be raised, but I actually like it exactly where it came. Now it comes with uh, keys. Now I have full intentions of putting padlocks on here, but I'm still going to keep the same locks that it came with. It's just gonna um, help secure it, I think, better if you get little padlocks, especially if you're leaving an arcade or um, or even a laundry mat or something like that. You know, probably I'll just put a padlock on the um, bill door and then the main door. And um, those are those seem to be probably the easiest to wedge open, to be honest, especially, um, the thing I don't like about this is that it uh, has a, it's a glass door. It's not framed in metal, which I would prefer to be framed, um, just to make it a little more robust. But the machines are super solid. I mean, they they're they're pretty. I mean, they're hundred pounds, but still, you know, it's it it is more difficult to get leverage over them. One thing I'm always concerned about with these mini cranes is that they could be easily tipped over. Now, the nice thing is on the back there is some mounting brackets which help. Um, I plan to mount uh, my machines uh, because you just don't want to risk, uh, for some reason, one getting tipped over and obviously broken, but for liability-wise, you don't want a kid getting hurt either. So it's just best to mount it and then it, you know, you're not going to worry about it falling over or someone tipping over the machine and stealing your prizes or breaking the machine. Um, so I would just recommend mounting it. So I'm gonna say the pluses and the negatives of this machine. So the pluses is that it's just the prize, you know, the prize uh, bin is super deep. You're gonna be able to fill it up pretty well. It looks really cool. It looks a lot more presentable. Um, and the fact that you can adjust, you know, that plexiglass there is really cool. Uh, I like that the, the prize chute is much lower on the machine. Uh, that seems to be pretty nice uh, compared to the minis. The mini claw machines that you see usually, they look like toys. And where this machine looks more like a commercial machine, even though it is a mini, um, it looks more robust. Um, and I like these a lot better. Um, the cons I would say on this machine is, uh, the one thing I noticed right away is that this vinyl is it's just, you know, it's, it's going to peel right away. And, but the nice thing about it is if the, if the vinyl does peel off or you eventually peel it off because it gets all scuffed up, it's white. It's powder coated white underneath. So it'll just be one big white machine, which is fine. But I just wish that vinyl would, I don't know what kind of vinyl they use or whatnot, but I just wish that the graphics were, um, put on there better. It just seems like a, you know, a cheap sticker that's just going to peel off. So that's really my main 
you know, negative thing about it. Otherwise, you know, there's really not a whole lot of bad things to say. I think this is a really nice machine. They're about $1,000, so it's a great start machine for anyone that's getting into this. You know, for in-home use, it's great because it doesn't take a whole lot of space. I mean, also in businesses, you know, when you're trying to find space in a business, you know, a lot of times some uh, places only have room for gumball machines like some bars or, or restaurants. And this machine, you know, in a sense, could take the place of a regular gumball machine because it's so slim. Now these machines are completely programmable. You can go in here, you lower this. I wish there was a hook or something to hold the coin neck, but you can just be careful and dangle it or you can unplug it and uh, you can access the control panel. Now there's some videos from candymachines.com. They have a YouTube show uh, channel where they show you how to do it, but you know, just for example, mode, you know, and then it takes you, and you got the arrow, you know, up and down. I'm just going to put it back in, um, I'm going to put mode again. But, uh, you know, it's it's pretty easy to change. You know, you can take, uh, sometimes like the music can get really annoying. So you can um, change it so that it's not playing all the time. It's just playing when the machine's being played. Um, and uh, you can change the amount of money per play or... Um, and then obviously to set the payout, um, a lot of vendors, you know, they have to set a payout to, in order to make a profit from these little plushes because these plushes, you know, I get these from Alibaba and they're probably about 30 or 40 cents a piece. And, uh, unfortunately shipping and everything is really high right now. So it might be even a little bit more than that to get them right now. But, um, you know, you have to make a profit so you have to do it you know a play a winner every four times or every eight times or whatever you end up setting up and then you have to adjust the claw and the claw can be kind of difficult to adjust because it is a mini um so that little pin in there it's a magnetic coil that pushes that up so depending on how much power is brought to the claw it depends on how it'll move and um, it can be kind of difficult with plush rubber duckies on the other hand are really easy to calibrate because rubber duckies have a certain amount of weight to them and um, they're rigid and stuff like that so they won't necessarily squeeze um, so those are a lot easier to set up for payout um, these little plushes are a little bit difficult you kind of have to mess with the strength of the claw for a while I usually, usually spend 30 minutes on a machine uh, just to get it set up so I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I helped anyone that was interested in purchasing one of these. Um, they're definitely worth getting. Um, even for home use, they're awesome. They don't take up a lot of space. Um, but for vendors, you know, the people that are getting into vending, this is kind of a nice uh, way to get your feet wet or even just buying a used machine, I guess. But uh, these are cool because they're lightweight. I can move these myself. And there's actually wheels on the bottom too. So it's kind of like it's on a dolly pretty much. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take care.